How you doing? This is Neil from ipaintgirls.com and we're going to be learning about comics. I figured since I'm working on my comic right now, not that girl, since I'm working on my comic right now that I would show some tips with comics. And the first thing we're going to do is paneling. And you might be like, oh, why paneling? Paneling, that sounds boring. But look, paneling is really important and to know how to panel will, will really make a difference in how your comic is read, how readable it is, how liked it is, and so forth. So paneling is something you have to learn. I know it sounds dull and bleh, paneling, but really, um, learn it. It's good stuff. So, here we have a page from Batgirl I wanted to demonstrate something with. And the reason I wanted to demonstrate this page is because I actually had trouble reading it. Uh, the context wasn't clear enough on what panel I should read first. The beginning, it's uh, it's very clear, you know. Um, I you know, obviously read the top panel. And notice the top panel is a full bleed, which is a good way to um, have a lead in, you know, what really important scene you can have this full bleed like that and have it come all the way out instead of being a panel. Oh, by the way, uh, just hit F11 to go full screen like this on your Internet Explorer. Okay, so we, it's so far so clear. Um, you know, she's chasing this guy that stole someone's purse and now she's, uh, you know, thonking him in the back. Blah, blah, blah. She talks. And oh, this is a way to do. Um, thoughts. I guess this is a prominent way. It's like, it's the narrative, but in first person it's also their thoughts. So it's kind of cool. It's how I'm actually doing mine. And you can just do squares of a different color. So it's clear that it's the narrator. And then if you have more than one narrator, you can do different colors like they do in this background. The other narrator it has a green box. Okay, so here's where it gets confusing. These four panels here. I wasn't exactly sure which to read first. I mean, first I want to do like a, like a newspaper. I went from here to here and then up here to here. It makes sense like that when you look at it and how good it, if you want to pause to read this really quick, go ahead and then uh, I'll scroll down. Now you can read these two. Pause again. So it, it makes sense that way but I think the way it's supposed to be read is here to here and then down here to here. The reason I wanted to show this uh, is because this confusion is easily done away with by spacing of your panels. By putting these two close together and these two far apart but close together, your eye naturally wants to do this. It wants to read these first, and then and oops, and then over here, and then down here. To make a straight line, you just hold down shift while you're dragging. So that's the this is the pattern you use when you want them to read the panels in that order. One, two, three, four because the eye naturally wants to go to the next closest thing, and that gap makes you not want to go over there. You don't have to have it that drastic, but I just want to show that it, you know, show a clear way of doing it. But let's say you wanted, to, you wanted them to read it like I think that Batgirl is supposed to be read. Well, what they could have done is they could have put these panels close together, and this isn't going to be perfect because I, I, you know, I'm trying to save time here. You know, what I should do. I should uh, hold on a second. I'm going to put this on a different layer. Okay, so now I have that this one on this layer and it's locked. That way I can't accidentally grab it. So this is how they have it, which is confusing because you don't you don't really know what to read next and the context didn't make it so clear. But if they would have done this, if they would have just pulled these down a little bit, it would have been clear what you read next. Naturally, my eye would have went here to here, here to here. And because it's unnatural to do this, if you're reading newspapers, you read left column, then right column. So since it's unnatural to read this way, then it's good to have it set up to where the Z is, you know, clear now by the spacing of the panels. So panel, the spacing of your panels can take away ambiguity, and you, that's what you don't want. You don't want anyone to be confused. And so the least ambiguity, the better. I could, you know, bring these two up a little bit higher, you know, so it's not so different, but enough to where you can you can definitely see a difference and your eye wants to go one way, not the other. So think about that when you're doing it. Another thing you can do, and I'll show um, some my comic pages really quick. If you want to read them, I have three of them done so far from Xbox 360 game. Go to ipaintgirls.com and then click on the gallery and you can check them out. So here's my gallery. It's what it looks like. Here's the three pages I have the last things I've uploaded. And here's the uh, new Jill Baxter from a video game. I just want to show that really quick, I guess. I have redesigned her completely. I like her new look. She's cool. Yep. 
All right, so here's the first page. If you wanted to read it on the video, if you're in full screen high definition, you can just push pause. All right, so what I wanted to show is I did use that trick, and I'm probably going to make it a little bit, a little bit more clear by. But this is pretty clear because when you have one uh, column over here that's totally blocked like this, one big one, then clearly your eye wants to go down here first. It wants to go to the segments first. So your eye wouldn't want to jump over here. But just, to ca just in case, I don't want anyone to be confused on what to read, especially people that aren't familiar with comics, like those that play video games might not be. I'm going to bring these closer together. Notice they are a little bit closer than here, but it's not close enough. So I'm going to pull this down and this up a little bit, for these are a little bit closer together, and that will, that will make them want to come down this way. Another trick, though, is using bubble placement. And bubble placement's important, too, to uh, know what to read first. Uh, people naturally want to read what's on top first. So what I have done is I laid out this page or screenshot, because I'm, since I'm doing it for the Xbox 360, I'm doing it for my games in widescreen. So I'm designing each page rather than a page. It's like half a page, technically, but uh, it fills up the full screen, because I want people with standard TVs to be able to read as well. Anyway, so um, what you do is you have the bubbles going from top to bottom. Notice that each bubble you're supposed to read one is higher than the other, except for these which are on the same plane, but it's clear that you read this one first because it's on the left, and that's natural. We do in, in America is we read the left first, and then you go to the right, and this one bleeds into this page also, which is another trick you can do, have the bubble cover two pages so you know you, you or two frames or panels so you know to go to the next panel and then read that and then down. So bubble placement is also important to lead the reader. And so paneling is really about leading the reader so they don't get confused. You never want any reader to get confused. You might lose one of your readers that way. Oh yeah, by the way, another thing I wanted to mention really quick. Um, a lot of you guys have been messaging me saying, hey, it's a shame you don't have more views. And so I learned something. If you guys want to help me out, this can help me get more views for my videos. For we can then help more people out there. Is, is just comment on this video. As soon as the video is posted, if a bunch of people comment within the first 48 hours, I'll get on the most discussed list, and that will get me more views. And so just 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 make comments, argue with each other, you know, have a conversation. The more comments, the better. Um, you know, comment to me just to say hi, hey, I like this, or hey, I hated this, or whatever. I'm gonna try to ask a question at the end of my videos too, and and I hope that you guys will reply and answer those. So just the more comments, the better. So just comment with anything, and post video responses to uh, anything like that will help. Right. So the next thing we got here is page two of my comic, and what I did here is notice this is another trick you can do. When you have to go up like this, when this is a little bit higher than that one, it's kind of like blocks it off, and you don't want to go that way. You naturally want to go down. So let's say this side did have more panels, um, then you would naturally want to go down and not to the right first. So having the right side a um, little bit higher will block you off. But if it's a little bit lower, you naturally want to go down, but you don't want to go up. It's just one of those things that the brain knows. So anyway, yeah, that's a good trick as well. Again, if, you, if you're in full screen, high definition uh, on the video options, you could, you know, pause, I guess, and read this if you want. Or you can go to the website, ipaintgirls.com, and go to the gallery and read it that way. Oh, hit F12 on Internet Explorer. Did I already say that? Or hit F11 on, F F11 on Internet Explorer to go full screen. All right, since I'm here, I might as well show page three. And this is where I'm at right now. Uh, it's very clear, obviously, what you need to read next as far as the panels are concerned. Um, I notice I have this one, instead of being even with it, it kind of goes down a little bit. So you kind of want to move down anyway. But there's no need for that because it's clear where, where you're supposed to go. Um, anyway, I just did it for uh, aesthetic purposes. But with the bubbles, sometimes it can be confusing. So I did a trick. I wanted to show this trick on this page with the bubbles. Obviously, it's kind of clear what to read next because one's higher than the other, and so you kind of want to go down. But just in case, I have these lines, you know, these white lines going between the bubbles, so it kind of shows, ah, oh, that's like, it's kind of like tracing out the direction you're supposed to be going. I might actually outline those in black, too. It just, um, I'm working really quickly. I'm just trying to get it done as fast as possible, and if I have time, I'll go back and tighten up little things here and there. But for the most part, I think it looks good. So, Also, I think I might pull, like, this one. I think I might pull this in to make it clear that the sound's coming from this, this speaker. Like over here, it's clear. Um, so I might do that here as well. I'll, I'll have to see. Anyway, so that's another trick you can do is doing um, these like lines between 
you know, extending the bubbles between them so you know what to read next. This is like a conversation between two people, and you can have it go back and forth like that. And they have one a little bit higher than the other, which makes it clear what to read next. Notice I'm doing her thoughts. She's the narrator, first person narrator, and uh, present tense. So I have them in the little bu bubbles like Batgirl. All right, so question of the day, or question of the video. <laughs> how many of you are working on comics, and how many of you want to do comics for a living? That's my question. Please answer it in the comments. Thank you. Oh, and please rate, and uh, that'd be cool, and subscribe if you want. But commenting is the most important thing.